because you know it's not stressful. Little baby things. So cute. Hi guys, it's Tuesday evening. Um, not like 8.30 p.m. and I'm at the office. I just came back, we were working on a Style Selecta episode today that was a little bit out of town. So we drove back tonight and I had to pop in here to offload all the footage. Claire had to go out to buy some more things for tomorrow, so it's been like a 13 hour day and I'm not even home yet. That's the reality of it. I have fun doing it, for sure. Sorry, I am literally gonna keep getting clips offloading while I talk to you. The room is looking really good. I'm really excited for you guys to see this one. And it's a little bit like of a different scenario than you're used to seeing. It's not someone that like owns their own place. So I think maybe it could be relatable to a lot of other people. It's kind of back to school themed, which is coming up I know for a lot of people. I'm like, what happened to this summer? It just went by so quickly. It's already August, mid-August. What happened? I've just been so busy this summer. Anyways. I'm gonna keep doing this, and tomorrow we'll be back to finish the Styles Wednesday like episode, which will be out very shortly, very shortly, especially from when you see this vlog, very shortly, so stay tuned. Hi guys, it is already Friday. Today we're with Wendy. That joke has never been made before. <laughs> and we're gonna be doing a little install because we don't wanna see no bedroom when we walk into her place. Oh, that was so cool. We have our supplies, we're gonna be building. I'm not gonna share too much here, but um, what I will share is Wendy's strange obsession it's not <laughs> for small items. We were just like, hello, cute little iron. You so baby. And then I, we were standing over here, we're like, hello, cute little ease. What is that? It's lip balm. <laughs> what the hell? Do you remember when like this was a thing in elementary school? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But like bubble gum flavors. Yeah, my dentist gave this to me and I was like, what a throwback. <laughs> also, your dentist is the coolest to give you lip balm. Yeah. Mine gives me like plastic toothbrushes and I was like, I don't want this. Yeah, plus I'm like, I use an electric toothbrush because you told me to. <laughs> so why are you giving me a plastic toothbrush? <laughs> the one thing that I will take is the um, floss to floss between your braces. Cause if you have if you have the wire, then you can't use like normal floss. I have literal nightmares about like my teeth going crooked. Like I have a front tooth that's crooked. Teeth nightmares is like by research shown to be a sign of stress. I get teeth nightmares too. I get nightmares that I'm like a tiny person inside my mouth hosing out a cavity. <laughs> But I do have nightmares of like them falling out or my yes. teeth going crooked. Like I wake up and they're just like. That's a stress. I oh gosh, that makes sense. I'm very I mean, stressed. Like, don't be stressed about the stress. Then... That's true. Because <laughs> you know it's not stressful. Little baby things. Tiny objects. So cute. Like, okay, I definitely do own lots of things that are small. Wow, we're gonna spend our whole day not DIYing and instead just making small things. It's Friday night and we're going to Jay's game and we got in there giving out free hats. Hi guys, it is Saturday morning and I want to bring you along this journey as I do something for the first time. I'm gonna go get my eyelashes and eyebrows tinted. So this is what they look like without anything. I have never tried microblading. I want to try something else first. And I've had um, fake eyelashes before, but it's a little bit of a process. I think it's good for vacation, but I don't know. I don't like it when they start to like fall out and I definitely am not ready to upkeep that. So my friend Carly told me about eyelash tinting and eyebrow tinting. Ideally, it'll make it look like you have mascara on when you don't, because my eyelashes are like kind of light. My eyebrows are definitely kind of light. So we'll see, bring you along. This is the before. And then we can see what the after looks like. Hopefully it looks good, oh my god, I don't know. So this is what it looks like after. It took like maybe a half an hour, 40 minutes. I know that it's like not a crazy difference. I mean, I didn't get like extensions or anything, but I think that from before, the eyelashes, you see a little bit more of a difference maybe than the eyebrows, especially because like the eyebrow tint doesn't fill them in. So kinda still need to do that, but I think that the eyelashes look good. I think that the, the tint makes them look darker 
and therefore bigger. It's supposed to last like two to three weeks. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys get eyebrow tinting? All right. Off to go do my Saturday, which includes a lot of work, I think. It is raining here and I absolutely love it. I love a good rainstorm when I don't have to be out in it and I can just be home and listen to it. <laughs> but okay, we're gonna go a little story time adventure. In my front hall, there's a set of stairs that goes upstairs and there's like a little alcove where the stairs go up like three stairs and then turn to go actually upstairs. So that little area, I've always wanted to put a mirror on that back wall. I feel like it'd be so nice to have like a big floor length mirror. By the door, when you leave, you can check your outfit or whatever. And my dream mirror for it has always been like a tall arched mirror, but I could never find one that I liked. So many of them are just like, so not my style. Like the border around it is just like super gaudy or there's like, cross beams in front of it. Like there's always been something where it's just not right for the space. Until I was in HomeSense the other day and I saw this one. So this is exactly the kind of mirror that I don't want. <laughs> Cause it has stuff like these little bars. I know there's a proper word for them and it's escaping me right now. But I was looking at how this mirror is actually constructed and it looks like it's a simple mirror just sitting in this frame and it's held on on the back and I think that I can take it apart and get just the mirror out and I'm hoping that there's not a lot of glue on this. We're gonna go on this little adventure where I'm going to extremely carefully try and take the back off. Hopefully it is and we can hang it. So let's go. So I think it's these just little like picture frame things that are hanging it on. So we're gonna try and remove carefully. All right. This is gonna be a lengthy process, so I will catch up with you guys when I'm about to take the back off. All right, we were just in a coffee shop for a couple of hours getting some work done, and then it was pouring rain, and then it stopped pouring rain. No, actually it's still, it's actually still raining, but it's so sun showery, you can't even tell. It's really pretty out, but there's so many puddles and flooding. Oh shoot, I can already see there's a crack in it, like a chip on the side that was hidden by the atrocious border. But can I even get this out now? <gasps> She's not glued in. Yes! Okay, this is the frame, and I honestly probably could sell it or give it to someone for wedding decor, because it's kind of pretty on its own, honestly, without the mirror now. But. Speaking of the mirror, here she is. I am obsessed with how simple it is without the frame now, so much better. But it was not cut the best. There's some rough patches, but I think overall, if you don't focus on that and I don't point it out to anyone, <laughs> it's, it's really nice. So I'm gonna try and go attempt to hang it now with mirror clips, but it is really thin because it was meant to be in that frame, obviously, so I gotta be so careful. I'm like nervous to even stare at it for too long. I'm thinking it's gonna break, but once it's hung, nobody will touch it and it will be good. So let's go try and attempt to hang that now. You guys, I just realized that this back cardboard piece is like the identical size to the mirror. So I can literally hang the cardboard, get the hooks all in place, and then just swap it for the mirror at the very end. That makes my life so much easier. You guys, this is so much better than I was even picturing it coming out as. It's like exactly what this front hall needed and it's so simple without the frame. I'm obsessed and I was sweating so bad the whole time I was hanging it because I was just picturing me going through all this struggle of like taking it out of the frame, getting the clips on right, and then I go to hang it and I drop it. But hey, I didn't do that, so go me. Hi guys, it's Sunday morning and it is really hot and sticky in my apartment and my boyfriend's even sleeping over and he was like, this is brutal, I can't do this. And I was like, wait a minute, I have a solution. I was sent a personal air conditioner this week from Ava Polar and they sent us the Ava Chill. I didn't even know that personal air conditioners were a thing. And in my apartment, I have like windows that don't really accommodate an air conditioner. I have been struggling this summer and just dealing with my fan. But this is like a little USB powered personal air conditioner and they have all different sizes and I'm so excited to try it. I'm just excited to see if it works because it's one of those things that seems too good to be true. Wait, it's so much smaller than I thought. That's so cute. That's good because it'll fit on my side table because I do not have a lot of room in this apartment. That's a good thing. Small apartment means it's easy to cool down. 
You only need a small little cooler. Oh my god, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of vibey. Honestly, I'm into this. They're not meant to like cool down an entire room, but like if you put it like beside you, it's definitely cooler. And Ava Polar also said that you guys can get 10% off using the link below. Um, this is the Ava Chill. It is the smallest one. There's Ava Light and Ava Smart, which like would be smart home compatible, which is amazing. So I don't know if the code works on those other two, but I think it will. Check out the link below. Thank you Ava Polar for sending me this because it's actually making such a difference. Already and also since it's USB like power bank powered, I'm going camping in a couple weeks. Like bring it camping, right? And like cool down your tent. That's amazing. I'm probably gonna go back to bed now. Now that I can sleep more comfortably.